Hello friends, welcome to Silon Software. My name is Trilochan Torai. As for the requests of many technocrats, I have prepared a series of videos on Java Spring boot with microservices. So guys, if you want to become a Java developer, it is mandatory that you have to export in Spring Boot with microservices. So I am going to present these videos as for the industry requirement. So first you do subscribe and press the bell button for getting more and more updates. Okay, so now we will uh, start uh, our session. So first of all, I will uh, start uh, from introduction. So first of all, uh, in this video, we will see what is my agenda. So my agenda is very clear in this video. So first point, introduction to Spring Boot features of spring boot advantages of spring boot and what are the tools required to build an application in spring boot so what is a spring boot so spring boot is an open source java based framework used to create standalone production grade spring applications quickly and with minimal configuration i will explain what uh, i have written it is built on top of the spring framework and simplifies many of the complexities of developing spring applications by eliminating boilerplate configurations First of all, uh, you uh, know Spring Boot is a framework. Simply, it is a Java based framework. It is open source, specifically used to develop over enterprise application. So, specifically, I have written a standalone application or production grade spring application so what do you mean by standalone application so basically spring boot primarily focused on creating standalone application that means the spring boot application can run without requiring external application servers so in traditional java web applications basically uh, we have seen in servlet and jsp so we will uh, what uh, basically uh, server whatever the application we are developing using servlet and jsp for that case we are making work file and deploying into an application server like tomcat but spring boot is allowing to bundle an embedded server so server is embedded there is no need to configure server explicitly so server tension so we will not take server is embedded so what do you mean by uh, production grade applications so spring boot comes with various production ready features there are some features for that uh, we can say production grade applications one point is health monitoring. Spring Boot 
provides endpoints to monitor the health and status of the application. Metrics, it can track various metrics like me memory usage, thread pools, and custom metrics, whatever we define. Spring Boot integrates with Spring Security for securing applications. So these are the features of production grade applications. So we will see. So to develop a Spring Boot application, we need minimal configuration. We will see. So if somebody will ask what is Spring Boot, simply it is a framework or it is an open source, a Java based framework specifically used to develop web or enterprise applications. Then uh, we will go to next point Spring Boot features. So these are the features of Spring Boot auto configuration. Automatically configures our application based on the libraries and dependencies included. We will see what are the dependencies that uh, we are adding and how it is automatically configuring to the applications. So, definitely Spring Boot application removing the need for manual configuration. So, here manual configuration we are not doing. So, as a result, development process or development will speed off. Currently, I was telling embedded servers. My second feature is embedded server. Spring Boot provides embedded servers like Tomcat. So we will see whatever we will develop a Spring Boot application. So a server is responsible to execute and that server is already embedded. No need to configure the server explicitly. Stator dependencies. Some pre-configured dependencies we will see at the time of application development when I will uh, create a project or at the time of project creation, one point will come to our picture. We will add some dependencies, tetra dependencies. At that time, practically we will see. So some pre-configured dependency set called as tatters simplifying the inclusion of libraries. So we will see Spring Boot Stator Wave for web applications, Spring Boot Stator Data JPA for database communicating with a database applications. We will see some dependencies we will add at the time of creation of a project. Then uh, what feature is Spring Boot CLI? So a command line tool that allows developers to quickly bootstrap Spring application using Java or Groovy. So we will see simplifies rapid uh, prototyping and scripting. Production ready features currently I was telling what do you mean by production grid applications. So containing some features like uh, health checks, metrics and internalized configuration. So also providing some uh, ready-made endpoints for monitoring and managing applications in production. This tool. So, one uh, dependency, dev tool dependency, we will add. The advantage is once we will run a boot application, 
after that any changes if we will do so no need to run again so if we have added def tool dependencies automatically it will republish so this is one of the advantages so automatic uh, republish reloading so at the time of development security next uh, point is security integrating uh, what uh, with the spring security for authentication and authorization we will see so how spring security we will implement in a boot spring boot application microservices support yes microservice building small small service is known as microservice and where each service each microservice is nothing but a spring boot application and we will see and what is the advantage of microservices in detail we will know when that point will come to our picture how a service is communicating with another service so basically this is what uh, the features of spring boot auto configuration embedded server actor dependencies spring boot cli production ready features dev tools security microservices support then uh, overall already uh, i have explained so advantages of spring boot so auto configuration so one is auto configuration yes so we will see so when uh, we will uh, create uh, a project structure so there is a file pom.xml files and the pom.xml file i will explain in later so that is a such file which is containing the dependencies then how the dependencies are configuring automatically with our components so practically i will show you so it simplifies configuration with auto configuration so advantage is reducing the need for manual setup and boilerplate code embedded server already i have told server is embedded it is advantages stator dependencies providing production ready features and also what uh, supporting microservices architecture so basically these are the advantages of spring boot so to build a spring boot application so what are the tools that uh, we require so minimum jdk 1.8 you have to install but uh, i will suggest you java 19 jdk 19 you install already i have experimented jdk 19 you install and uh, there are so many ideas integrated development environment so what uh, i have observed so my uh, favorite is hts spring tool suit but uh, you can develop in IntelliJ idea in vs code in eclipse there are so many environments so here i have used hts and for uh, communicating with the database i have used my sql as database okay so these are tools that are required to build a spring boot applications so i hope uh, overall uh, you got clarity what is spring boot so spring boot is a framework it is a java framework specifically used to develop a wave or enterprise applications okay so i hope everybody got clarity